We are now closer than we have ever been to getting an agreement. There's no reason why we should not get an agreement. The president said the American people don't want finger pointing, and then promptly pointed his be, finger think, directly at Republicans for refusing to compromise. Uh, nobody gets 100 percent of what they want. Uh, and uh, we have more than met the Republicans halfway at this point. But Republican Speaker John Boehner says the president's to blame for the standoff, calling Mr. Obama's Good budget cuts smoke power. and mirrors. You've heard me say uh, for the last three months that we have no interest in the government shutting down. Uh, but we are interested in cutting spending here in Washington, D.C. If there is a shutdown, what exactly will happen is murky at best. Most of the nation's 4.4 million federal employees are deemed essential and would continue to work. But hundreds of thousands of non-essential workers would stay home. Social security checks would continue to be mailed, but tax refunds from the IRS could be delayed. And the Pentagon said today it's unclear if the troops will be paid on time. The president said he'll call congressional leaders back here to the White House every day this week if they can't reach a deal on their own. One thing the White House is hoping to do is have the president appear like an adult breaking up a childish battle. Harry? And if the government does get shut down, Chip, this is really high stakes brinksmanship. It really is, Harry. Remember about 15 years ago, the last time there was a government shutdown, President Clinton outmaneuvered Newt Gingrich and the Republicans got the blame. But I should add, it's not just the blame game. Both sides also want to avoid a shutdown here because of the negative effect it would have on the fragile economic recovery. Chip, Harry? Chip Reed at the White House tonight. Thanks.